Right now, the final countdown to the 2024 total solar eclipse has begun. Millions of people will be looking up to the sky to witness tomorrow's solar eclipse. CBS 2 Chardet Gray tells us where you can catch a look here in the city of Chicago and why it's so important to have those special shades, Chardet. The Adler Planetarium is one of few locations that will have a free event to view the solar eclipse tomorrow. They'll be passing out eclipse shades like this, at least while supplies last. Hopefully, the weather won't be anything like this. Yeah, I'm on. I'm ready. Stedman Lewis and so many others are ready for this twice in a lifetime solar eclipse. You're looking at a previous eclipse gathering at the Adler Planetarium in 2017. Tomorrow, they're hosting a free viewing event complete with telescopes and complimentary solar viewers. Lewis is a manager at 7-Eleven at Lake and Dearborn. Right now, he's stocked with Eclipse glasses, but he thinks they'll be gone by tomorrow. I believe. Uh, you know, we have a lot of tourists in town, so this is the weekend, so tomorrow people are going to be out. The excitement and anticipation are growing as the total solar eclipse approaches, but that rare view in the sky could damage your eyes if you don't take precautions. A new survey of more than 1,000 Americans finds one third don't know looking at a solar eclipse without proper eye protection can cause permanent damage. Dr. Nicholas Common is an emergency medicine physician of Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. The retina is really what gives us our vision. And that's the thing that we're most concerned about, the sun's rays impacting the retina. After the 2017 eclipse, there were people that suffered vision loss. He says having the compliant ISO 12312-2 glasses is critical, especially here in Chicago, since we won't get full totality. The partial solar eclipse will happen in Chicago from 12.51 p.m. to 3.22 p.m. The peak of the eclipse is just after 2 o'clock. It will be at its maximum coverage when 94% of the sun will be covered by the moon, a sight many are excited to see. The eclipse is water and fire, right? So that's God works. Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. Charday, thanks. Many people are expected to swarm area beaches and parks to view the eclipse. If you're headed downstate, IDOT reminding drivers not to stop along roads and bridges. Make sure you have a charged cell phone and a full tank of gas and don't wear those eclipse glasses Charday was talking about while you're behind the wheel.